to our third grade play. Our play is called Two Pigs, a Wolf, and a Mud Pie. Uh, the third graders have been working very hard on this for two weeks, three weeks. Um, they're a little nervous, but they're going to do a great job. Um, parents and family members, if you want to join us in the third grade room afterwards, we have some lemonade and cookies. Okay. to go grocery shopping. Bang pigs, they were craving mud pies. They heard there was a sale on dark rich mud at the grocery store. Tack and Till left the house to get groceries while Tick stayed behind to get the kitchen ready. And when my brothers got back to our house, we made a discovery that starts our story. <laughs> grab and face. I thought we were never going to get out of there. No kidding. Did you see the sale of pork chops? Yeah, let's get to the tick so we can start baking. Tick, we got the mud. Hey, Tick, we brought some of your favorite ice cream. So kind of big style, some extra dirt pumps. <laughs> you see, what they didn't know was that I wasn't home then. He was with me. He's not here. Oh no, do you think? The big gobble has him. Well, my two brothers hurried up to find me word that I had been kidnapped by the wolf. And that's when the real fun began. <laughs> Scene two, they chat the forest, that can go search for the run. <laughs> My brother searched and searched for me until I came to the enchanted forest. A place that even wolves don't like to visit. But desperate to find me, they went in anyway. For hours they looked, and just about the time they thought they were too tired to go on, they found their house. Hey, do I smell gingerbread? Yum, I love the chocolate cream around the windows. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, this is the part where we need the help. You won't have to do this would you? You betcha. Yeah. Have either of you seen him pick about so high? We think he even took him for a big bath and looks to be eating to dinner. No. Yeah. And so, Gretel, come on, dear. That's what I expected, dear. Wait, stop! I've read this book. Don't go on there. She's laying it. I was just about to search for ham dinners. Well, I can get my brother's gut out of there and hurry. They kept walking until they came to a second house. At this house, they were seven tiny pairs of socks hanging on the clothes on outside. Inside, they could hear someone saying, This house looks safe. It sounds good. I also ran in gingerbread. Yes, may I help you? Hello, ma'am. We are here today. I don't want any. Ma'am, we're just looking for. I, are you selling apples? Because some nasty old lady just tried to get me to eat one of her apples. And before that, some guy showed up wanting me to try to guess his name. And I haven't got one thing done today. Oh, my child was worried what was going to happen to him. Have you seen him? Oh, how awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. What does your brother look like? He's okay. That's not very nice. No, really, he's a pig. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone all day. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone all day except the very pesky salespeople. I'm sorry that I can't be a more help, but I really do have to get back to my work. Good luck. And so once again, my brothers continue walking through the forest getting more and more worried. Cinderella 
Gallo's town, the search for tea continues. The brothers find themselves in the middle of the festive ball. Well, the two brothers search the entire forest without any luck until at last. Just as it was getting dark, they left the forest and found themselves in a small town. They noticed that no one was around. All the houses looked empty, and the only light of all was, com was coming from the castle on the edge of town. Carefully, the pigs made their way to the castle, where they walked right into the middle of a festive ball. Look at this! Not now, we have to find Tim. Excuse me, have you seen... Hey, you got this! No, no, it's supposed to stay there, you boy! <laughs> Sad turn the way there and for a huge surprise. Cause Tick and I were waiting for them in the kitchen. Tick! Mr. Wolf, get away from Tick yelling bag of balls. What are you doing? Where have you been? I've been worried sick about you. Didn't you read my note? 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 Yes, the note. The one that says Tick is helping me fix my flat tire and direction for where we are so not to worry. Oh. I met Scarborough down outside our house right after you left, and I took him to the station to get a new tire. You didn't think he... You didn't think I'd eat Tick, did you? Well... Oh no, this guy's a vegetarian. But well, we were waiting for you. Show me how to make the best spinach pie. Here, try some. Gee, thanks. <laughs> So there you have the story of the two little pigs. And of course you know how it ends. Everyone lives. Happily ever after. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoyed this. <laughs>